Hi, I'm Dennis Phillips, and welcome to Everyday Reloading and Shooting. All right, welcome back. Once again, we're at the Georgia Gun Club's 100-yard indoor rifle range, and today I'm shooting my Tika T3X chambered in 223 Remington. We have the Vortex Diamondback 6 to 24 by 50 tactical rifle scope, and today I'll be shooting Hornady's 60 grain VMAX bullet with VDV order N133 powder. The charge weights from 21 to 23.3 grains. We'll be shooting five fouling shots to warm the barrel first and to get it sighted. In. With those, I'm shooting a 55 grain full metal jacket. And I know from experience that those shoot very differently from the VMAX bullets, but we will use that to make sure that we're on target before we begin shooting. The max load for this particular powder is 23 and a half grains and we'll be going up to 23.3. Velocities will range from 28.34 to just over 3,000 feet at 3,042 feet per second. All right, as always, you're welcome to enjoy the music while I fast forward through my shooting, or you can skip forward to the results that follow. Shooting at 100 yards. Alright, some of these perform pretty well, so let's bring them in and take a look. Alright, so on my fouling group, I was shooting high to begin with. This was my fifth shot. And then I shot this group at 21 grains, and we're shooting to the right, so after that, I adjusted the scope two clicks to the left and continue shooting. Got this group, which is still shooting to the right. It would have been more to the right had I not adjusted the scope. Shot this group, this group, and it's continuing to shoot more to the right and higher as the barrel is torquing. And I'm increasing the charge weight and the velocity is increasing. So I adjusted it one more click to the left after this group just to make sure I was staying on paper. And it continued shooting to the right, but I've got a nice cluster here with two flyers. Uh, shooting, stringing horizontally here and here, which indicates a good velocity note, I think. It's hard to say which one of these is going to be my best group. I suspect it may be here or possibly even here. But we will take these home, measure these with the Hornady Ballistics app using their group analysis function. And then we'll get back to you with the results. All right, I'm back from the range and I have my results. Today we're testing the Vita Viore N133 powder and the Hornady 60 grain VMAX bullet. I am shooting charge weights between 21 grains and 23.3 grains of powder. 
and we have velocities from 2,834 feet per second to 3,042 feet per second. I always start with a fouling group with five shots. Usually it's the same bullet that I'm going to be shooting, but I was a little short on ammo, so I decided to load a 55 grain full metal jacket for the warming group using the same charge weight of 21 grains as my starting load. Uh, I've learned from experience in the past that a 55 grain full metal jacket doesn't shoot anything like a 55 or 60 grain VMAX, and that was certainly the case here. Uh, if you look at my fouling group, those shots were all over the place. Nevertheless, I left the rifle at that setting and continued. There wasn't probably, I guess you would say, a nickel's worth of difference between any of these. They all shot very similarly. And I'll go through those with you one by one here. At 21 grains of powder, we're traveling at 2,834 feet per second. Here's your average point of impact, represented by the red cross here. We're shooting 0.77 inches above the point of aim and 0.74 inches to the right. We have an extreme spread from here to here of 1.09. We had a mean radius of 0.31, which a radius is half of a circle. So you double that, and that gives you an average group size of 0.62. And that's also confirmed by the area, because you measure the height and the width, and you'll multiply those. The group is 0.96 wide and 0.68 tall. That gives you an area of 0.65 inches. Not too shabby. At 21.6 grains of powder, we're traveling at 2,886 feet per second. Here's your average point of impact. We're shooting 0.59 inches to the right and 0.79 inches high above the point of aim. We have an extreme spread of 0.95 inches. This was probably my best group because it's the only one that was actually under an inch. We had a mean radius of 0.29 which your average group size from that would be 0.58 inches, and we had an area of 0.68 inches, so very similar to the first group. At 22.2 grains of powder, we're traveling 2,938 feet per second. Your average point of impact is here, which is 0.90 inches to the right and 0.82 inches above the point of aim. We have an extreme spread of 1.03, a mean radius of 0.32, which gives you an average group size of 0.64. And we had an area of 0.76, so an area just under an inch. At 22.7 grains of powder, we're traveling right at 3,000 feet per second at 29.90. Here's our average point of impact. We're shooting 1.09 inches to the right and 0.97 inches high. We had an extreme spread from here to here of 1.16 inches, a mean radius of 0.33, and an average group size of 0.66 inches, and we have an area of 0.96 inches. Moving on to 23.3 grains of powder, we're now just over 3,000 feet per second at 3,042. The max charge weight on this is 23 and a half, so we're just below the maximum charge weight for this bullet and powder. This is our average point of impact, which is 1.18 inches to the right and 1.01 inches high above the point of aim. We have an extreme spread of 1.07 inches, a mean radius of 0.34, which gives you an average group size of 0.68 inches. The group size is 1.05 wide and 0.67 high which gives you an area of 0.70 inches. One thing I do notice here that as the charge weight increases, that rifle is torquing, the velocity is increasing, and it's beginning to shoot more to the right and higher. So we go from 0.74 inches to 0.79 to 0.82 to 0.97 to 1.01 in height. And then on the area, we go from 0.77 0 0.59, 0 0.90, 1.09, and 1.18. So that rifle is twisting because of the bullet traveling through the rifling in that barrel. All right, so again, not a whole lot of difference between these. This is probably my best group at 21.6 grains. 
where we had a 0.95 extreme spread and a mean radius of 0.29. If you're just looking at the mean radius alone, we go from 0.31 to 0 0.29, 0 0.32, 0 0.33 and 0.34. So it's opening up and spreading out gradually, although that second group is probably the best group. If you look at just the extreme spread, we go from 109 to 95 to 103 to 116 to 107. And the area, 0 0.65, 0 0.68, 0 0.76, 0 0.96, 0 0.70. So again, not a nickel's worth of difference between these. We may try this 21.6 grains or somewhere in there. We may look a little above and a little below that charge weight and try to zero in there to see if we can get a tighter group. And we also can experiment with seeding depth. So I hope you find this information helpful. If you have any thoughts, ideas, suggestions, questions, please leave those in the comments below. I try to interact with everybody that comments. I hope you will like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.